Our Bible story today, Lydia, a generous heart, based on the book of Acts chapter 16. The Bible is filled with great people doing great things, men and women who talked, walked, and honor God, accomplishing wonderful things for His glory. There were some ups and some downs. Some great women God used in big ways. Stories we can learn from, building character on the foundation of God's work. Paul and Silas were traveling together and came to the city of Lystra. They saw a young man named Timothy. Timothy has been learning and growing in God's grace. His grandmother, Lois, and his mother, Eunice, were great women of God and taught him well. Paul was so happy to see this that he asked Timothy to join them on their missionary journey to help share God's kingdom across the land. Paul, Silas, Timothy, and Luke were on a missionary journey. They had come to a big city called Philippi. And there were no synagogues or churches in the city, so anyone who wanted to pray and worship God had to go outside the city gates by the river. Now, there was a very important, rich woman named Lydia, and she made lots of money selling purple clothes. Purple material was very expensive because it took a very special dye to make it that color. On this particular Sabbath day, the day of the week set aside to honor God, Paul and his friends went to the river outside of the city gates, and they saw several women there praying. One of them was Lydia, and she loved God. Paul began to tell the people all about Jesus and God's kingdom, and Lydia wanted to know more. She listened very carefully to all Paul had said and she decided to live for Jesus. She was baptized that day. That means she expressed this new life in Christ by rising out of the water and identifying with Jesus. Lydia was so happy about being a part of God's family and so thankful to Paul for sharing about Jesus and God's love that she wanted to help any way she could to share about God's kingdom too. Lydia was so very rich. She owned a big house with many, many rooms, and she asked Paul and his friends to come stay with her in her room. She was a determined woman and would not take no for an answer, so they followed her to her home. Lydia fed them and took care of them while they were in Philippi. Paul and his friends did a great work when they stayed in the city. Many people were blessed to come to know and love Jesus. They even created a church, a place where they can gather together and praise and worship God. They no longer had to go outside the gates to praise God. Lydia was a great woman of God that God used in a big way. She was a very generous person. She shared all she had to help others so that they would know the love of God. Godly girls getting it done. In today's story, we're talking about Lydia, a very rich and important person who lived in Philippi. You see, Philippi didn't have a church and didn't have a synagogue. So anybody who wanted to praise or worship or talk to God would go down to the river. And on this particular day is when they arrived. Who's they? Paul, Silas, Timothy, and Luke were on a missionary journey to share about the love of Jesus. So Paul is preaching and Lydia is there listening intently. She's leaning in. She wants to know more about this Savior, Jesus Christ. But not only know him, she wants to live for him. And she acts upon it right then and there because she and her whole household was baptized that day. She was put into the water and came back up, recognizing the identity in Jesus Christ. She, because of that relationship, she loved God and she wanted to share all that she had 
She acted out in generosity. She shared all her money, all her time, and her great big house. So you see, all of Paul and his friends while they were staying in Philippi stayed in Lydia's house, and they even started the church in Philippi. She was very generous, and God used her in a big way. That now there wasn't a church, and now there was a church. A church that Paul really loved that he even wrote another letter to the church of Philippi to know and to continue the good works that they started there. You too can be used by God in big ways and you can do it by being generous, sharing what you have, whatever it may be. But more importantly, the love of Jesus that is in your heart, you can share that and be generous. Our memory verse, the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 16. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Come to the end of our time together. It's a great time to go talk to God. Get your praying hands. Lord, I want to thank you for this day. I want to thank you for your word, the Bible, that has great stories that we can learn and grow from. I want to thank you for today's story about Lydia and her open heart and her, and her generosity. Father God, I want to know you more, I want to love you more, and I want to know your love for me. So that is one of the things that I can share with others. I choose, Father God, to be generous in all that I have, and I praise you and give you glory and honor. I want to thank you for my family. May they know your love and watch over them, protect them, and keep them safe. And thank you for keeping me healthy, strong, and safe. In Jesus' mighty name, all God's kids said, Amen. Thank you for watching CWC Kids. Join us again next Sunday at 9 a.m. when we share another Bible story. You can access CWC Kids videos on our YouTube channel at Covenant Word Church Key West, our website at covenantwordchurch.org, or our Facebook page at CWC Key West. Please subscribe to be sure you don't miss an episode of Building Character on the Foundation of God's Word. See you next time on CWC Kids. Have a blessed week.